<laughs> Good morning. Ain't took you hold it. We're having the baby today. Today? So I lost my mucus plug. Not my mucus plug. I had a blood TV show. It's focused on your shoulder for some reason. Anyways, we're going to the hospital. Uh oh. Two beats! <laughs> we're in the hospital. I'm having contractos. But we just packed the bag earlier today because I had a feeling that he was coming. I told her to pack. There's nothing exciting in there. <laughs> Baby ain't thinking about nothing but where am I? I'm so excited! We'll see you in a second! Bye! So apparently I'm six centimeters dilated. My water hasn't broken, so the contractions are painful, but not that bad yet. I'm just here contemplating on when to get an epidural. How you feeling? Good. So we like did not update anything. It is actually eight o'clock right now. So what we've done, we got checked in. We had to register, see if I was actually in labor. When we got here, no. When we got here, I was already five to six centimeters. After that, we moved to this room, showing my lovely room. And then I got epidural. My contractions weren't that bad, but I think it's because last time they were just not. I was gonna die. My water still hasn't broke. Hasn't broke yet. Is that how you say it? Still hasn't broken yet. It hasn't naturally popped yet. About 10 minutes ago, we had to take the Ronies test. But once they pop our water, hopefully we can get this baby. Yeah, you know, we'll keep y'all updated, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, well, since I since I contractions, y'all didn't pull them and back, but I won't know. That's it. Yeah. Alright, so what's your next one? You can really push. Okay, let's go ahead. Underneath this great. Push away. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push oh, good. Good, 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 good. Keep pushing. Oh, Perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Slowly. Yeah. Just a slow, steady push. Slow, steady push. There you go. Push that little shoulder. Here we go. There. <gasps> oh, 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 there he is. Can, oh, I, can I get a baby? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has a couple of small carrier recoil that that is. Okay. Tubies. We've moved to the recovery room. Um, our baby is in the NICU because he was born a month early and he has respiratory distress. So he's being monitored and being treated as if he has infections from his blood work. It's tough for me as a dad. I'm trying to keep composure because I know she's blaming herself and that's not okay. But you know, we'll make it through it as a family. He'll be okay. He'll be the strongest boys out on our own life. I'm just glad we're able to go see him. By the time y'all see this, he'll be at home. Just wanted to give a little update. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, dude. I know it, it's better that he's there than if we brought him home with him having lung issues. You know? Yeah. Anyways, Tubies, we'll see you in a little bit. Look insane. Why are you gonna talk down on yourself and then gash yourself in the same sense? <sighs> baby, baby, look. So we have been at the hospital for three days now. I didn't film anything yesterday. It was an emotional day. It still is, but yeah. We are leaving without our baby. His genes are so good that the hospital wants to keep him to do more studying on why he's 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 testing out as demigod what they don't know is that his father is a god so it's like so we're gonna go home and go pick up aiden 
which I miss him a lot. Anyways, we have to come back every few hours to come and see him and, you know, I'm pumping. So I just want to give a little update before we leave. You stay happy in this situation. So he's just still in there because he has respiratory distress. He still has fluid in his lungs and his lungs are streaky, which the doctor said it's his organs are still a little bit premature. We hanging in there and he'll be home soon. We'll be back. Bye. You okay? So he was in the NICU for a week and we couldn't be in there together. It was just one of us at a time. The last day the hospital let us we spend the day and night with him before we brought him home. And that day happened to be Mother's Day. It's cool and good. And after Mother's Day, we got to take him home, which was Aiden's birthday. We three weeks into this long six weeks. I don't know how they know, but it doesn't feel like genuine I felt too awkward. One thing with the NICU it was scary because even though he was born at 36 weeks which generally isn't a problem but babies who go there you don't know when they're able to leave when they're healthy enough to leave so it was just kind of uncertain during that time and I know the way I edited edited, edited, edited the video it's kind of humorous but you know at the time it was not. <laughs> to make it more lighthearted. Once we were able to leave the hospital, I didn't try to film a lot. And once we did get home, Aiden got to meet Zai, and I only got a little clip of that too. But Zai, Zai, I don't know. It's like he immediately looked for a sauce bar. In the videos that I post online, it looks like Aiden is so gentle, but he is the roughest person. All the videos that I post, they'll look like this, but in reality, he is literally... Pull his foot off. Hey, wake up, dog. Come on, let's go play. When we not look for you, you well, I don't really know how to update. He's almost a month old, and we have another kid that's just turned one. What? Another kid. Even a month into it, I don't... You seem to be doing fine. I have no idea how to do this. Don't let her lie to you, dog. She sits there with her boob in his mouth for like 12 hours a day. All you do is eat and... That's it. Aiden eats, pees, poops, and tears up everything. It's like a walking Tasmanian devil. devil. How do you balance of just having your newborn and taking care of your infant toddler? Because I can have him in one arm, but I can't like drag Aiden everywhere. He takes care of Aiden all day. I take care of Zai during the day, and then he takes care of Zai during the night. Sleep all night, G. So he's not getting any sleep. Thank you. Hopefully it pays off, you know, my paycheck is at the end of the six weeks. He wouldn't latch at all, but I still wanted to give him breast milk, but Aiden was pumped and he threw bottle for him. He kind of latches, which makes it a lot better because with pumping and bottle feeding, it's like double the work. I was just so miserable last time doing that. I'm not giving myself a goal as to when I will stop. Yeah. I will try to pump, supplement if I have to, but for now, he's only getting breast milk, which is good. I don't want to set an expectation and then not meet it and then feel guilty about it. I feel like fed is bad, so if you don't want breastfeeding no more, don't even do it. You know? Dog, she's got like three months worth of milk inside the freezer right now. I don't know. He's going to be pretty much breastfed. She's a natural breeder, dog. Natural breeder. So, I don't know. I don't want like eight more kids. Being pregnant two years in a row. We can wait till he's 14 and have another kid. I don't know, man. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I'm trying to. I'm, I really want to implement a morning and night routine because. Like, God. I just don't. <laughs> Red Bull ain't giving me wings. Five hour energy is only giving me like an hour at most. Monster? More like pipsqueak. With Aiden, we never did any type of routine with him, which is 
why he's all over the place half the time. I'm really lucky because he knows how to put the voice and sing like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, I will literally sit here with this boy knocked out in my arms and will be scared to put him in his bassinet because I feel like he's gonna wake up if I put him in. Like, as if I'm able to do stuff holding him. I'm gonna get him. <gasps> my foot's numb. While she's gone, I'm gonna tell y'all, like, I know how to implement a routine. She just, she just love her babies. She don't want nothing to happen to her. Oh! Oh, see how big he is? Come um, on. Hello, buddy. I'm just so happy I have two boys. I would have never thought at this age or any age I would have any kids. <laughs> now I have two beautiful boys. <laughs> He's coming straight from the camera. I think we should end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. You made it this far. Subscribe. No, no subscribe. subscribe. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye, Tubies. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>